right, YouTube, I am back again with another trash find. And this time it is a Bissell Pet Hair Eraser. Swivel version. It's not like the Power Groom or the other pet hair eraser I had, but it's still a pet hair eraser vacuum. Let's see. I think it was number three that it needed to be set on. But, yeah, we'll find out. Um... A couple of things that were actually wrong with it is that while it's true that the brush roll is easy to clean, it's not entirely tangle free. I had to cut hair off of it. Well, actually, I didn't cut, have to cut hair off of it. I just pulled it off and sucked it up with the smart vac. Yeah, use a Eureka to clean a Bissell, why not? The other thing is they had used it to clean up food, and as you all know, that it's just like the blue Bissell. I think it was the um, uh, Pet Swivel, the blue one, whereas we can see there's just a s slight area down under there that for the air to go through, so that's definitely not something that you should have to deal with but yeah, we all know that people yeah that's the way people think you shouldn't have to deal with that but yeah and the filter up in here had sheetrock on it so clearly it was used in a used as a contractor vac and the wand which is also the handle pole was stopped up let me yeah there we go they had a pretzel in there clogging it up and piece of popcorn as we can see so yeah this is not a good one to clean if you need to clean up food if you need to clean up food i would use like a direct air vacuum or something with a large opening like the smart vac and air extreme but anyway enough yammering Let's go ahead and run this. I know I've been asked to show more bagless vacuums. Well, here we go. We're going to show a Bissell pet hair eraser on the channel for the first time. I will note that this one is rather powerful. I just used it to clean the back porch and it runs pretty good. And just like the Air Extreme and the Smart Vac and the Air Speed Gold that I had. It has this thing that I really don't like. I mean, I've had people say that they like it because it kind of relieves the suction. Um, I mean, I noticed that it does do that, but I just don't care much for it. I mean, at least uh, with something like this, you don't have to really worry about the brush roll kicking stuff up in the... Um, in the hose but i still don't think it should be necessary to have this but either way here we go i do also like the fact that the height adjustment has a light around it so that's a bit interesting
commercial grade pipe and we'll see what it does. Obviously, that would be like bare floor. At least this isn't weird like the Dirt Devil Power Max. While we're here on the commercial grade carpet, why don't we go ahead and put this out, put out what's in it for a mess test. It's not a big mess test, but it's still a mess test. We'll go ahead and do. I do need to clean it up a bit more in the cyclone areas, or if you even want to call them a cyclone. And there it is. Tell me how y'all liked it. Tell me what y'all want to see. And I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it. Be sure to subscribe because once I reach a 1,000, I'll be doing a very special live stream. And I'm also doing my best to get new videos out every day. And while you're waiting on those videos, you can go to my website. It's free to sign up and free to post. And link is in the description if I still have one. Until next time, bye.